Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Eric the Car Guy. What I have for you today is a General Motors product. Yay! And it is a 1998-97, uh, according to the VIN number, Buick, or, yeah, Buick LeSabre. And the complaint is of a hesitation slash pulling. Uh, I've actually been, I've actually heard it uh, called fish biting, which I think is a really apt description. So it's, it's like it's holding back a little bit as you're trying to accelerate up a hill under load, that kind of thing. Um, and it has uh, some codes in it. And one of those codes is a uh, P0300 for uh, random misfire. Uh, in a situation like that, I took it out for a test drive. I experienced the issue. I wanted to determine if it was going to be something that might be transmission related or engine related and I believe it to be engine related and I was just about to go, I, I pulled one of the spark plugs. Spark plugs look kind of old, that's usually the, one of the first places I want to look, just general tune up stuff, especially if you have a random misfire code like that. Um, but as soon as I started the engine up to let it run, I was going to look for some vacuum leaks, I started hearing a voltage leak and it's just like a pop. Um, and We'll be able to see it here on the car, but I'm also going to show you my trusty method of finding voltage leaks in an ignition system, which is really just a spray bottle filled with water. This has a little bit of soap in it, so what? But the idea is that you soak the wires and ignition system down with water, you turn the lights off and have a look. If you see sparks flying everywhere, you know you got a voltage leak. If you've got a voltage leak, that equates to a misfire, and a lot of times that fish biting feeling. So real quick, we're going to go over to the car and, and get a look and see what that looks like for real because I got to tell you, it's quite the light show. Now I know which coil is at fault here, but I just wanted to show you it, it and you can hear it snap every once in a while because this one's actually right near the coil pack and I believe I'm going to end up needing a coil pack for this. This is a waste spark system, uh, meaning that the ignition coil fires two plugs at the same time. Um, there, there's a nice one. Let's go look at what I'm talking about. Now I've turned off the lights so you can get a better look. Now we're gonna make it a lot worse with our squirt bottle. This is what you do, you just sort of soak down the wires, any place they're touching. better without the water. Alright, well the engine's gonna make a liar out of me, but you did see it arcing before I actually started spraying the wires down. And normally when you spray the wires down, that's when you start seeing the arcing. Okay, a little amendment. Um, I did see a crack in the coil tower of this vehicle. And in fact, it shows up better when it's damp. But here, here's what you're looking for when you're spraying with the water. And that's what you're looking for. Uh, a lot of times uh, the misfire will get worse when it's wet outside, when it's raining, that kind of thing. That's why the dampness in the air gives the electricity a path to ground. Electricity, especially high voltage electricity like an ignition system, likes to find the shortest path to ground. It may very well be that just the plugs are really old on this and it's harder for the plug, it's harder for the spark to jump the gap at the plug, so it's actually more apt to jump right here at the ignition coil. It's possible, but uh, I, I think that's what we're looking at. I don't think it's a bad coil. Uh, if it was a bad coil, I think it would have run a lot worse because a lot of times there's a breakdown in insulation when there's a coil failure. Um, so it cracks on the outside or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to replace the spark plugs in this first, uh, possibly the ignition wires also, and 
see what I got then. See if I st see if my fish biting is still there. Because ignition systems will oftentimes fail under load. So when you're going up a hill or when you're trying to accelerate, that's when it'll start to hold back and give you that fish biting effect. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to replace some plugs and take it for another test drive and see where we go from there. But this was just a little short video to show you how to check for voltage leaks in an ignition system. Um, and it, it's usually good to have it dark and a lot of times you can hear it just like you'd hear this one. It was like a snap. And in fact, as soon as I started this car a minute ago, I knew what was going on. Anyway, I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I always love to, you know, hang out with you guys. It's just too much fun. So now that we're done, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. And uh, one last thing I want to add. Some of these ignition systems, like this one here, use like high voltage, but also some amps along with it. Uh, these things can knock you on your butt. So don't touch them with your hands while it's running. If you do, yowza. Um, it's some, sometimes it's enough to stop your heart. So just hose it down with the uh, water from a distance, but don't touch anything, especially when it's wet. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you, people.